Here's a pair of the Jordan Cyber Monday 3s. And uh, these came from, they came from a seller on uh, DH Gate. So I'm gonna do the review for them. And uh, like always, if you need the links, email me. I'll have my email on my main page, the, my channel page and I'll have, um, I'll see if I have it down below. If not, just leave your email and I'll get back to you. All right, so let's get into these. Now these ain't UAs or anything like that. These are just the regular $60 versions. And the reason I say that is because I looked over these and I've checked the leather. And um, on the retails and the, the UA versions, it's got the real soft leather. These the leathers, well, it's not. It does have a leather feel to it, but it's not as soft as it should be. Which I think is okay because it won't have that major creasing right here. This is like a light tumbled leather. And again, with these threes, I wish they would get the the sizing right of the elephant print right here. It's still too high. It should be a little bit lower, especially in the front. You can see it here. How it should be here and it just if for some reason they pull it up it's supposed to be down here and these holes here the lace loops I had to fix that with a with a little screwdriver the leather was like up over the hole like halfway and here's a look at the tongue jump man needs some work on this leg here and those fingers gotta go. Head's a little too big, but nobody's really gonna see that because uh, when you lace them up, the laces cover up all that. So here's a look at the midsole here. Air unit, everything looks good on them. Here's the back tab. And a lot of people don't like these shoes. I think they're okay because it's a simple look. It's just a black and white shoe. But this, the outsole here is going to be a problem because after you wear it that one time, it's never going to be all white again unless you put a sole protector or something over it. Because I've already had that problem with three shoes that have a white outsole. After you wear it that one time, it's pretty much ruined. You'll never get the stains out or anything. But I'm going to be using these as a winter shoe because I have a lot of black and white joggers I'm going to be wearing with these. Here's a look at the other shoe. It's got nylon laces. And the, the leather's pretty good on these. They're not bad for a $60 shoe. Here's a look at the inside. It's got a silver jump, man. I don't know if that's going to be correct or not. Now here's a look at the tag. Yeah, I wish they would just get the sizing right on this. And the one major flaw that I've seen on this shoe is it's missing the stitching right here where my thumb is. See how there's no stitching in there? But you can't really tell when it's on foot. So that might bother some, but I really don't care about that. See? Not a problem. Here's the box they sent it in. I don't even know if this is the correct box. I highly doubt it. But this is just a regular Jordan 3 box and it's it's really small. The shoes barely fit in there. You gotta force them in there. Here's a look at the tag. Yeah, so anyway, if you want the seller's name or contact info, just email me. And I'll get that to you as soon as I can. So I'll see you on the next video.